Hi and welcome to 100 Seconds where we remind and challenge our hearts to smile. Your 100 Seconds starts now. In Mark chapter 11, Jesus and his disciples are finally entering Jerusalem during Passover and Holy Week. And they are going to fulfill some scripture from Zechariah and 1 Kings by being the peasant king riding on a donkey. So Jesus sends his disciples to go and find this colt that has not been ridden before. They untie it, bring it, he comes in. And as he's entering, the town responds by laying out their garments and shouting, Hosanna, save us, thereby fulfilling scripture. And a lot of people would say that Jesus operating prior to this moment, just kind of on the outskirts, Maybe they would have left them alone, at least for a while, but Jesus choosing to enter Jerusalem during this time, it feels like the religious leaders and the leaders of the time have their hands forced. They decide they have to do something about this insurgent Jesus of Nazareth. But here he comes. You can't ignore him anymore. He'll go and he'll curse the fig tree. He'll overturn the tables in the temple. He is entering in a way that you can't ignore. For us, I think sometimes we're really happy with allowing God to operate on the outskirts of our lives, aren't we? We like hearing the stories and feel-good moments and reading in our social media feeds all the positive things that God is doing, but those moments in our lives when Jesus really enters into our realm and we can't ignore him anymore, we're met with a choice. We could either say nothing or we can lay down our cloaks, open up our heart and say, save me. How has Jesus entered your life? How is God walking in a procession in your life right now, today, that you might need to respond with, yes, God, save me, walk with me. I acknowledge your kingship and I give myself to you.